Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Peter Landwehr. I'm from the Enroll team. We're all based over there. You should come chat with us afterwards about all this. But we've been working this summer on smarter outreach for healthcare enrollment. So I think a lot of you might recognize the graph that's on the right. That's from Gallup, and it shows the rate of uninsured in the US. You can see that it was about 14, and then sort of peaked around 18%. And then right there, that's when the ACA actually took effect and the exchanges started to happen. So then the number really began to go down. But that 13.4% that's there is actually a pretty hard group to reach. A lot of them don't even know the ACA exists or aren't aware they're eligible for it. So it's pretty locked in. The Enroll America and Get Covered Illinois are two organizations we've been working with. Enroll is a nationwide not-for-profit. They do a lot of direct outreach, so they'll do things like door knocks and canvassing campaigns to get in touch with people, and then they do a lot of follow-up with phone calls and a lot of just sort of phone call outreach. They really want to get talk to people and basically say, hey, enroll, 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 until finally they enroll. Uh, get Covered Illinois does some of the same stuff, but they can't really do that much calling, so they instead end up doing a lot of advertising campaigns. So a lot of TV ads to say, hey, visit our website, call our phone banks, and enroll. And, and Get Covered is obviously the state of Illinois, not the nation. So the big issue for Get Covered, that we, or for Enroll that we found, is really this phone list. They pretty much concentrate on phone outreach and phone follow-ups, and if they can't get those follow-ups with people, then they basically drop, they drop off the map. So they have a, a basic model. This is the amount of effort for one conversion, 100% of the effort, which is 100%, but that's 500 calls to people who aren't interested, who have insurance, who you don't, are apparently against the ACA for some reason, any huge number of reasons. And we found that we can build up a contactability and uninsuredness and persuasion models to take some of that effort down and to actually decrease that count. So contactability, which takes a little bit of a hit, we have all the information from Enroll about all of their contacts and all of their outreach to anybody. And so from that, we've basically been able to say, okay, here's a profile of individuals and how reachable they are based on different features. That's helped a little bit to say who matters. Uninsuredness, Enroll's already using an uninsuredness model. We've taken that model, we've built it into our own, we've added in more data from Enroll that they've had uh, on hand about consumers and about voting habits, and have built that, bulked that up a bit more to take down a few more hits. And then persuasion. So Enroll's run several experiments to see just how effective uh, their uh, campaigns are in actually getting people to enroll in healthcare. We've used those to induce a, a new variable which approximates the actual effectiveness of a campaign on an individual person. And from that, we've kind of, again, built up a set of similarity scores that lets us know, okay, who's actually persuadable. So now when they actually do their calls, they'll hopefully be reaching more people who actually are contactable, who are actually uninsured, and who can be persuaded to actually go out and enroll in Obamacare. And the rough uh, fix is 20% savings, which we're very excited about. So hopefully they'll be now using 20% less effort when they're actually doing all their phone outreach, so their volunteers will be doing better and everyone will be happier. Uh, so Get Covered Illinois, we mentioned advertising. In Illinois, roughly 20% of the uninsured are Hispanic. And they get about 5% of the expenditures in advertising from the state. So this is n a lot of money that is not actually going to them, target them, but it's actually going to target everybody else and probably lots of other people who have insurance already. The, uh, so we've done some work here modeling the effects of an advertisement on calls to their phone banks over the next three days. And if you hold to everything else equal, what you can see is that $1,000 on Spanish language ads will produce about 10 times the number of calls into the phone banks than the calls in English language ads. So even though English language ads are much more expensive than Spanish language ads, they're actually way less effective at getting calls in, and that population is a very untargeted population that is very highly uninsured. So we've talked to the state. They're going to hopefully be changing their advertising campaign for the next year to take account of this. We've talked to Enroll. We'll be talking to them some more tomorrow, and hopefully they'll be changing their models to use our stuff. And yes, more people insured. Thanks. <laughs>